Hello and welcome to another video. We are in the midst of drawing uh, all sorts of even-toed ungulates, so-called uh, art artiodactyls, and uh, the, today today's turn goes to uh, well hippos. Hippos might not be the first kind of creature you think of when thinking of hoofed animals, but they definitely are amongst uh, their ranks. So here we go. The species I'm drawing is the uh, is the ch most charming of the living two species, I think. The uh, pygmy hippopotamus. The pygmy hippo. And let me draw it. Now, I'm drawing this creature from a rather unusual perspective. So from the front, and, well, and it will also be going downhill. So let's see how things uh, Will pan out now. These creatures have got pretty small eyes for a creature their size, so let's emphasize that in this way. They're also placed rather, rather uh, um, prominently within the face, I think, even though they're quite small. Now, let's not forget that uh, hippos have got quite a bit of a mustache going on. Here's the midline. The ears are very small, so here they go. Of course, pygmy hippos are not nearly as extreme a creature as a normal hippo, so that should be obvious here, even though they are still rather unusual creatures. Well, now it's looking a bit mean right now, so let's soften that a little by making it look more, well, surprised, if anything. Hmm. That didn't pan out exactly as I planned to, but hey, it happens. Now, as I said, my plan is to draw the creature going downhill. So let's do that by emphasizing the fact that uh, its back is not exactly uh, flat here. There's the backside prominent enough in a creature like this hang legs now in a hippo these creatures being as plump or rotund whatever you will as they are there isn't much uh, visible of um, uh, shoulders or hips or anything like that so that shouldn't be uh, obvious in the, in the creatures you're drawing either though you'll have to keep in mind that there's still creatures of flesh and flesh and bone, even if you're drawing a caricature like this. So don't make them too rubbery looking. Okay, now let's not forget the bulk. So there should be some visible bulk right here on the side, despite the way we're drawing it. Now, also to emphasize the fact that we are looking at a living creature. And not just a circle here some some markers some uh, some dots to emphasize the fact that we are looking at uh, a living creature like i said some shading here in the darker part and now it's walking rather strongly i think down slope Let's emphasize this a bit more. As you can see, pygmy hippos are not particularly big as uh, hippos go. After all, they're not called pygmy hippos for nothing. So that makes it a size of quite well. Now, however, I notice that this uh, eye is a bit uneven compared to the other one. So let's fix that by enlarging it a bit. There we go. That, that makes it look a bit big. That. I have to admit that I'm not very pleased by how well this creature turned out. My um, my first drawing was a bit better, but hey, we'll have to make do. Anyways, here's a pygmy hippo going downhill. Hope you enjoyed. 